Hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Sable, a game made by Shedworks and published by our good friends at Raw Fury Games. Uh, this is a game that I've been looking forward to for quite some time, and I think I might have the audio turned up a little bit too much. Let's turn that down. Unfortunately, I can't tell until I get in the game, because oftentimes... Uh, you don't want it to be too low. Yeah, but listen to that clicking noise. Yeah. But that might be completely separate. Right. Oh, frame rate can be locked at 30 or 60. I'm going to set it at 60, though I heard I heard that they designed it specifically for 30. So I guess, you know what? We'll just do 30. Enter a new game. I might have to mess with audio settings as we get in and out. I just, I... And So what is Sable? It's a wasteland exploration narrative game. Mm. And it's just downright gorgeous. Uh, I guess the easiest way I would describe it would be like a more free and open version of Journey, almost. There we go. Yeah, the Shed art style works. is very clearly, I mean, its own thing, but still kind of reminiscent of Journey. You know, the, the sandy wastelands and the ancient ruins. This is definitely a very thin line around every 3D form. Yeah. Yeah, they've got a shader that adds outlines to things. Oh. Now, I will say the frame rate is a little wonky, so people might get thrown off by that. Ah, interesting. Trying to make out what the mask is supposed to be. Wait, was that? Did that say the ceremony? Maybe. Oh, that. Wait, you're climbing on the face. But Gotta pick your nose. Look at that. The face definitely has a line bisecting it. I almost wonder if it opens. It might. It does look kind of doorish. So. I think this game was made to be in 30 FPS. The character herself is like 12. So I wonder what would have happened if you had turned it up. Turn what up? The 60 FPS. I mean, I can still do that whenever I want. Oh. And it reset these a little bit. Okay. Oh. By the 60 FPS. I know it doesn't... Oh, that's a lot smoother. That's a lot smoother. Mm-hmm. It looks like we might have a little bit of screen tearing. Maybe. I'll mess with it. Graphics and visuals are always tough. I really like the fact that you can climb, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I... It's always weird when you have a game where you can't jump or climb. Yeah. I think Breath of the Wild is going to have such a massive impact on exploration in video games as a result of its climbing systems. Mm -hmm. That's that's just a bit loud. Ah. Was there anything else in the temple that you wanted to look at? I don't know. Also, Maybe. what are you peering at? I just want to... I'm looking at the sound meters. Yeah, I'm curious what was down here. I'm assuming it's blocked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Deck of fall damage exists. That's fair. I don't see anything in here. Yeah, it... Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any goodies. There's some... I don't actually know if this game does much for collectibles. Mm hmm So I don't think that's worth really thinking of. <laughs> Dorish the Explorish. Ah. Whee! There yeah, we go. so that was the door. But, you know, for years we've had these, these open-world exploration games that have been fairly locked to one... Well, the thing is... There, if there were climb spots, it would always be 
vines, ladders, yeah. ledges, ledges with the mysterious white goop on top that you like to call ledge poop. It's, or whatever it's absolutely it is. bird poop. <laughs> absolutely bird poop. But uh, now you have a lot of these games that are just kind of designed so that you can freely explore them. The one problem is uh, being able to freely go like up and down surfaces like this definitely does make it a little tougher to have like a uh, level design to some degree because it means people will have so much easier of a time cheesing it out and just skipping all sorts ah, of things. I wonder if everyone wears a mask. I think so. As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Do you have something on your mind? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That Alaria over there. Oh, that's Alaria. Oh, over that's there. Alaria over there. Oh, wait. Did she get all the way up on top? Yeah, it looks like it. Ah. Uh, I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Alaria. So, um, does she need help? I guess that. Does she need help? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine, and I'll get her. I'm just... Uh, she shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. We have a short chat about nothing much in particular. I say goodbye to Zeki. So is the low frame rate intentional? Yes. I know a lot of people don't agree with it. I personally am totally cool with the low frame rate. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I forgot to rest. Oh, there's a rest button? Yeah. Have well, they introduced that to you yet? Sort of. You just Ooh, run out of there? stamina. What's in that container to the left? I don't know if that's considered stealing. No. Oh, this. You just got some currency? Why is it taking so long to... I thought there were 20 of them. I think I broke it. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, it's all in. The 20 is all... Wait, no! Now it isn't in! Ah! 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 Uh. Well, all right. <laughs> Are we just going to have to wait for it all to... It's not tied to sound effects? Guess not. Well. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was Sable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll be able to relaunch it. I no, mean... Note to self. Don't immediately climb uphill, or was it just from opening it? It was opening that. Ooh, that music is good. Mm. This must have been playing earlier when I was getting the water. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean, luckily, it's not like we missed too much. If that bug had happened midway through, I would have been a little bit more upset. Mm -hmm. But I think the thing is, I'm I'm okay with intentionally having weird and low frame rates. It's one of those that I would love. I would love it if it was like a short hike where you actually can turn it on and off again. Mm -hmm. Like you remember in short hike how it was like weirdly pixelated looking. Oh right, but at the very end we found out. Yeah, that the you developer had different... showed up and was like, "Hey, by the way, you can turn that off." And I'm like, <gasps> and I did, and I and it looked really cool. And so it's like. But at that point, we had played the whole game. Yeah, at, at that point, it didn't matter, but. Like, it would be really cool if there's a if there was just straight up a toggle. Because that would kind of offset any level of complaints, and also would let you see the game in a whole new light, potentially. It's also similar to how, what, there was a game that we had tried out at one of the last festivals, and it just had flashing, strobing lights oh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah and... but they never added a way to disable it, so I just skipped it. Mm-hmm. Because it actually made Wander ill. It made me, like, real sick. I've never, I've never gotten sick from flashing lights before. That's oh, funny. button. Oh. I forgot about the button. Probably because you just stepped off of it and ran forward. Yeah. We, there we go. 
Yeah. You know, when do I play a Raw Fury game and not immediately break it? <laughs> what are other ones that you've played? Kingdom? Two Crowns? Um, mm -hmm. Remember how just absolutely busted half of our playthroughs of Kingdom were? Yeah. I know. And I've gotten migraines from playing games that are sub FPS, sub 60 FPS for a few hours, very set sensitive to choppy images. I wonder if it's an issue of poor frame rates or. I really think I, it's your brain trying to reconcile what you know should be happening versus what you're being presented with. Maybe. I'm just curious if it would be the same issue. Ah, we should have seen this when we came in originally. Mm hmm. Yeah, everyone has oh, a mask, a and there's cybernetics, light. yeah. I can feel Jotty smiling behind her mask. Just as I know she can feel a, the teeth-bearing little gri- Wait, wait. Just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine? Uh-oh. She doesn't really- She was goofing. Like her? I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? <laughs> and yet, or I know, I know, or I'm not worried. I don't know. The and yet seems ominous. Go for it, Shell. Uh, uh, I'm just letting you take control of the dialogue. All right. I am sleepy. And yet. I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. The movement is jerky. And I don't think that I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started. And then you act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you in the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you I was going to be all right. Oh, it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jotty reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. <sighs> There's the, I've changed my mind, I'm staying, I don't know where to start, or I think I'm ready. Let's say I think I'm ready. I, I'm saying uh, I don't know where okay. to start. Like, just so that I know what's going on, actually. Fair, fair. Jotty's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to get it, let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin, and she chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Halal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Halal will share something, well, let's say, as useful as it is fun, hmm? I think I might suspect what Jotty's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. Hmm, the I'll be back soon, or what if I choose the wrong path? Uh, go with I'll be back soon. But I want to know what fine, the wrong path fine. could be. You know what I mean? What if I choose the wrong path? I asked Jaddy what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable. Or right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Abexi. But, truth be told... I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be here to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used in my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there. 
perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. So, those are objectives. Yep, and then north. Chill. Why? I'm going to zone out fully if... Yeah, you're going to look at your phone the rest well, of the night. So, the problem is... Uh, I don't do well when I don't have anything to do with my hands. Um, I don't know if it's the fact that I'm, like, always doing something with my hands, usually, when I'm recording. Uh, there it is. Yeah, this looks like it needs V-Sync. Uh, and there is no V-Sync. Hooray! Uh, it'll be fine. Only a problem for us. Uh, let's see. But that, like, if I don't have something to do with my hands, I just, like, peace out. My brain just goes elsewhere, or I just start falling asleep. Uh, let's uh. see. We're just, we've already done this. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there this we time go. you're going to try to get to the little girl. Yeah, might as well. But this time I'm actually going to wait for that diamond. Uh, I'm going to wait for that diamond to. Whoop. Oh, boy. That Have you right rested? Out. Yeah, so when that diamond fills up, I'm fully rested. Oh, uh, okay. No, oh. no, 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 you jumped way too late. I did. And now you don't have enough energy. Yeah, so what I was trying to do was a running jump. Because you can't, I, you I, can do a running jump. Really? And, yeah. It doesn't look like you can. It looks like you're just, oh. No, it, it keeps the sprint momentum. Mm -hmm. Like, there is absolutely a running jump in this. The main issue is just that I did not, in fact, run. So, in fact, I just jumped. Uh, let's see. Is it like a manual fixation? I think it's just a focusing tool that, um, you know, probably starting in high school was in, when I started doodling and it massively improved my focus while I was just kind of hanging out, you know, listening to lectures and whatnot. And ever since I've had trouble otherwise, I, I've heard this is specifically a technique that's used for people with ADD. Um, and I have no idea if, if, like, I'm even remotely close to that or if it's just kind of a, a I mean, trained thing. I, I wouldn't thing. be surprised with social media if it didn't ruin people's minds. Well, yeah, that effectively... Always having <clears throat> the computer at your fingertips. Yeah. But also, uh, I think the other thing I suffer from is the fact that, yeah, I, I work constantly. And so the moment when, like, I am not necessarily required to play... Uh, it's kind of the moment where I just dis disassociate what, from what's going on. Especially when it's, like, a game that I'm going to come back for later. Yes, yes, but you're supposed to enjoy it now. I know. That's the thing. I know. But, like, I don't know. I guess the other thing I've run into in a lot of games is just that the, the plot in the story is kind of neat. But I mostly am just interested in the gameplay and the world exploration because oh, you see, I play games for story. So I for me, too, gameplay is kind of secondary. For so many games, the story is the same. Like, I could have predicted 90% of the conversation. Yeah, I mean, we don't know everything about no, this we world don't. as of yet. No, we don't. right. But it's kind of one of those where it's just like, I can just tune in and be like, oh yeah, it's going down this permutation. I love climbing. I want to get higher. Right up to where the balloon goes. I bet you didn't think I could get up this high, did you? This is great. We time to break my ankles. <gasps> How? Nope, she's totally fine. Okay, no falling damage. What? Okay, that was weird. But yeah, I've been looking for games that have like really uh, to like really catch catch me with the story, and I think this game might be. It's just not the beginning part with the grandma, because like, boy, how many games have we played that have like a a family member seeing you off or something? Yeah, because I swear I've experienced the the wholesome send off in video games. 
constantly with like major and minor variations but it's very easy for me to just like kind of lose it even if it is a game that I'm like really looking forward to he's got some kind of like anti-grab thing here mm -hmm. notice how he like tosses it occasionally and it just floats yeah yeah and then he also has the cybernetic leg as I approach lol they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor. Vigor? I think it's, it's I don't vigor. know. You always say vigor vigorous. because vigorous. Yeah. yeah, you don't say vigorous. <laughs> I've just heard it pronounced that way. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Oh, it's a gliding stone for slow fall. Sable, take this. Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is it? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Halal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't li leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... Do you, do you want to save the electricity? Yeah. Okay. Electricity. Then you're doing it right. What do you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Halal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? Oh, that's a bit of a trek to the temple. Go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jadi's words now and tell Halal that I'll go see Driss. Whispering stones. Time to see if this glitches out again. 20. Ah! At least it's filling up faster this time. Is it this frame rate or something? Maybe you want to oh, turn... Oh, yeah, it could be the frame rate. Let's turn the frame rate back to 30 and see if it plays correctly. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so now we know if you want to have your, your money function properly and actually fill into your wallet put it at 30 no don't go to him yet go get the other box push bike get get to the other box no i'll get it once i have the bike maybe you don't know if it's going to start a cutscene nah. oh, well. though i've told myself not to be too eager it's all i can do not to race up to dress dress is the camp manager He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful, or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a little bit of a start. Sable, uh, hello. I was told you have something special for me. I tell Driss that I told I was told that he had something for me. Something special. I nod very meaningfully, but he doesn't seem to get the hint. I make a leading gesture, slowly, trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. But I can't do it. I'm too keen, and the words spill out. I ask Driss if he might sort of, possibly, maybe, have a bike for me. Oh, your bike! He yells as if uh, it's a, oh. He yells it like it's an idea that he's just had. Your bike! Yes, of course. Yes, yes, your bike. Uh, I was meant to. I was prepared for you because today is your... Oh, no. Did you forget? An abject horror. I gently ask if he may have forgotten. What? What? I would never. It's obviously I have your bike, but which I arranged it for you in, uh, well, it's in, uh, sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial... Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it. 
And I find I've never heard that part of the gliding, but Driss doesn't, does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester, if I had ever seen one. What's the bike's name? I want to know that. Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngster the youngsters these days are always asking questions. Now ride the bike through the ring and back. Got some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Man, their exhaust is so dirty. Then again, it might just be this bike. Nope. I think it's all bikes. It'd be cool if they had energy trails rather than smoke trails. Oh, that would be and cool. And I can understand the sand trail, but I just feel like we're looting. Oh, no. Oh, you're trying to get that to wash over him, weren't you? I return to Dress, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How's your first pre-glide pre ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you are on fire. Even a little bit. Uh, was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Hmm. <laughs> Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well... He doesn't finish. Have you already been by Halal? Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? And Halal has got something to show you too. Help you out with more uh, of that mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only slight, lightly tarnished, I think Driss very much, uh, I thank very, uh, Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Halal. Did we already? I thought we already talked to Halal though. We did. So. I think we just talked to him again. Driss <laughs> asked me a series of increasingly strange questions before I make the, an excuse to, wait, take my leave. I I guess so. Well, wait, aren't you going to get that other box? Yeah, I'm confused. Well, Shell, the other box is... Around the corner. It's not very far. It's on the other side of the camp. That's why I wanted to get the the bike. Oh, it's not that far away, but here it well, is. Well, but you're... The, the shepherd's over there to the left. Why don't you talk to them? Wait, now that doesn't have anything for you? I didn't see any plus 20 coins. But, oh, that's a... Hello. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Is a bucket on his head? Also, go see the sheep. Oh, they have different types of horns, too. They all actually all have different types of horns. Oh, yes, so they do. I don't think they want anything to do with me. Mm -mm. There's the money. Oh, now there's the money. It seems like the whole money depositing thing gets kind of want. Mm hmm. Now, aren't I back? Whoa. That was weird. Yup. Don't tell me you're driving all that, that all the way up to Grandma, are you? Hello, Gra- Hello, Grandma. Is this the bike? Whoa, wait, what's that red energy in the distance? Also, that arch is glowing now that it's night. No, we- it started glowing once we drove through it. Oh, okay. Jotty greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. <laughs> Well, 
yeah, what was your gliding like? I asked Jotty about her gliding. Tell you what, I'll tell you when you get back. I cross my arms in protest. How tall you want, I don't want to spoil any surprises. She lowers her voice to a whisper. But I did meet some crystal farmers once. Crystal farmers? And that's all I'll say about it. You should get going. Right, we're supposed to go find the temple. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's it? I thought it was over by the red, but... Could be. Boy, what a trash bucket. Mm-hmm. Hopefully part of this adventure is acquiring the funds to improve upon the spike. Yeah, I'm curious about the money. I didn't really take this for a game that would have any kind of currency. Well, they did talk about other crystal traders and stuff. Ooh, that's the hull of a boat. Oh, actually, there's another arch. Or, no, that's just a big tube. What is that? Is that a, a wing to a, or a jet to a larger ship up top? Yeah, it's something. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to climb that, though. Let's see. I built with the right gusto. Yeah. Use the tree. Oh. I think that's my fault. I can probably do it. If you let yourself recoup. Recover. There, just made it. Maybe I would have just been able to climb that wall. I don't really know. Can you jump that? Hmm... Um... If you had gotten onto the plants, would you have been able to hold on? Oh, uh, I have no idea. Maybe. Is that something floating in the sky? The balloon, yeah. Ah, balloon. Yep. Ah, looks like you didn't need the aid of the tree then. Yeah, you got a good grip on that one. So you're climbing to the top of that by the looks of it. Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. Wait, what's it was what did that what was that? Was it a bird or something that flew off? Must have been. Unfortunately, the camera swings around just a little slow. It might drop down. Yeah. It's okay. I think we'll be fine. Come on. The main structure's over there, but I don't know if I'm getting to it this way. Mm hmm But there's this staircase and everything. It's true. I don't know. That's just where our glider is. I am hearing a rumbling. Maybe maybe there's a way of getting across, or maybe I'm just supposed to jump Look that. around. Maybe it's just the wind. Yeah, maybe. Ah, a special chest. Bunch With of coins. 20 moolahs. Okay, I don't think I see anything else. Can you jump the whole distance? <gasps> oh, man. Can you get on that ridge? I think I should be able to, yeah. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, 
How is it too high? Maybe this is. Oh, but wait, there's that weird rope. Do you want to go down to that? I guess so. Ah, there's also another chest, too. This Fancy one's gold chest. gilded. Cuts. A cache of a hundred cuts made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. Oh. It's kind of like what they used to do with old coins. If you ever find a, an old well, coin... Well, but they are coins. Right. That, that was currency. Yep. But yeah, if you ever find old coins with a hole punched through them, it's because in the... I think it was the... 1800s, early 1900s, people still would cut holes through coins. I actually have one of a mercury dime. I think we're going to need some kind of stamina adjustment if I want to get to mm -hmm. the upper level. I'm pretty sure this is not the temple. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, a mercury dime is a dime that was released before Eisenhower was put on the on the dime instead. It was Eisenhower on the dime, right? I think so. So, they used to have the god Mercury, also known as Hermes. But yeah, I found a, a Mercury dime in the stash from my great grandparents on my dad's side and it was from 1934 and it had a hole at the top of it. And I went, ooh, I'm gonna make this into a necklace. thing is such a piece of garbage. The music's fun. Yeah, the music is really chill. Unfortunately, uh, kind of following up on me talking about disassociating a little bit, this is making me very sleepy. The game is chill. <laughs> How's the hover bike upgrade system work? Not a clue. We haven't reached that point yet. Sweet jumps. Wow. Oops. I got caught by the lip, but there's mm -hmm. no lip. I feel cheated. This seems like the right place, though. Mm -hmm. If I had a guess. Now, I wonder if these people with their glidings, is that how they go out and find other groups of people to join? Maybe, yeah. Oh. Whoa, what is this thing? Oh, it's no. a person with wings. wings, like moth wings. Maybe we do get butterflies. Like a, an actual glider Whoa, as well. Oh no. Yeah, that would that would have broken some things. <laughs> People are talking about him being the source of the ledge poops. Ah. <laughs> I am the ledge squatter. <laughs> it is my job from tra to travel from dimension to dimension, poopy on every ledge, to make it obvious. <laughs> mm. Wait a minute. That looks like it meets together. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, look at that piston. It's like one of those things maybe that's supposed it drops. to insert right precisely the stone thrums like the beat of a heart as i approach the altar or maybe it feels right or i'm afraid or exhilarated. am i afraid exhilarated or maybe it feels right that's that one i am ready for ohana to know me i'm ready to know myself i feel her curiosity in the sacred place i know i'm in her sight Ooh. Is this how it's going to be filled with energy? Uh 
Frau. This seems unsafe. Mm hmm. And thank goodness she st stopped as far forward as she had because imagine if her legs had dangled off the edge. Ooh. That would have been bad. This seems like one of those situations where this is like way higher tech than the people have access to. Well, it's, and they said that they crashed. Like, people's crashed, right? Yeah. So it might be like crashed spaceships mm -hmm. or airships or something. You can glide in midair now. Really? So that's how we get up to that one thing. But, you know, maybe maybe it's one of those that, like, this used to serve a completely different purpose. But the people here have ascribed a completely different, like, meaning. And in doing so, turned it into this kind of... Well, they've definitely turned whatever that is into a deity. Rowana. Right? Yeah. But that, you know, maybe maybe this whole thing really does serve uh, some other purpose. I have no idea what it would be. That's why I would play We're always very like suspect that. of machines and fake deities and things of that nature in games. Is that supposed to be a depiction? Or maybe that's just a depiction of gliders. Yeah, maybe. How long does it last for? That's what I wanted to find out. It's also that heartbeat again. If it hasn't run out by this point, I'm pretty sure we'll never run out. So long as you have a place to glide down to? Yeah. Yep. Looks like that one just lasts forever. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go back to that thing. Now that we can safely get up to it. Right, because it looked like the the wing of a ship. Oh. What was that? Woo, woo, woo. I was pressing stuff on the controller while I was riding, so like, maybe there's... A horn of some sort? Maybe. Or maybe she just, like, whistles for whatever reason. The art style and animation look amazing. Yeah. It's one of those that, like... It's such a striking visual effect. I like seeing all the striations, the various... What would it be called? The stratifying layers? Yeah. Of the rock? You need sandworms. I mean, maybe. I don't know how much you have to worry about enemies, though. This might, this game might be more just pure exploration than anything else, and that's okay. I have played a lot of games with sandworms and combat and danger and whatnot. It's kind of okay to not have that for once. I mean, it'd be. It would certainly be cool to have, like, a, a Dune-style open-world game where, yeah, you have to worry about sandworms. But even then, I think that would get boring pretty quickly. <laughs> Reminds me of Tremors. It, you were up there for the... I just want to see if there's anywhere else I could get to. But see, I... look at that. that. That looks like it has engines. It looks like it's part of a wing. No. Yeah. I that might is... actually be getting legitimately cold. Because of the fan being yeah. where it is? Yeah. Yeah, what is that hooked up to? An energy canister of some sort. Atomic okay. power supply. That was weird. Yep. 
I think that's what you're supposed to come up for unless you can find... Go on those. Those are stratified enough that you can get up them. But, the left. But I, like, glitched it for a second. I was ascending. No. Oh, really? Come on. Go left. Let's climb this the way it's... Oh. In oh. Oh. See? Yeah. Yeah. Is it the way it's intended? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, climb up one of the beams. Right? Yeah, yeah, you want to go over to the right. No? Okay, I suppose it's just a platform then. That's a little too far, even for you, I think. Oh, is that what you meant? No, you're not inside this, are you? No, but I, I'm firmly sure that we are not supposed to get on top of that currently. Okay. Unless... Hey, thank you, Crowzone, for the raid. Welcome on in. We are playing Sable and other cool dame... Other cool dames... From the games, from the Steam Fest, Fest, ne next Fest. <laughs> What's up with you? Uh, wait, why aren't you looking at where the cables go? We did. Oh, it was just that's, that box. That's where the really fancy chest was. Okay. Well then, let's go back to camp. Couldn't Unless there's something else around the perimeter. What is that weird floating rock? Where? Oh, is it the smoke? Yeah. It's the smoke from the encampment. Never mind. Looks like the balloon might have landed, though. Oh, you're right. I don't remember that being active there. This game has some dope art. I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's so good. It's absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I... Going back to what we were talking about with the like, kind of like sandworms and whatnot, I saw a statistic that like a solid third of the games uh, presented at E3 are actually like just completely non-violent. Right, and that's something that I've always wanted to see more of because I find that I don't really much enjoy killing things like the, so the thing is I think it depends yeah, on the yes game. you do you feel powerful using magic and weapons and stuff to thwart your foes but I grew up with a lot of point and click adventure games and things with puzzles like mist and yeah. copious amounts of lore and storytelling so violence wasn't necessary to have engaging gameplay yeah. and I also find that sometimes if it's too punishing Combat can just feel... It feels like you're grinding constantly against minions and yeah. random ad monsters. And you just go, I, I just want to get from point A to point B without having to waste 10 minutes of my life hacking and slashing at things. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Nice that mask. guy has a cool helmet. Yeah, he does. We have a nice chat together. Well... What? <laughs> Who are they? What? Don't know. Also, thank you, Crowzone, for the three-month reset. All right, let's talk to uh, to Gran Granny, Gran Granby, Grambo, Grumbus. What's up, Grumbus? Johnny greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. Nope, never mind. What? Wait, we. What we? Okay. Have we not found the right place yet. What is this? Post box locking on. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Have a good day. Oh. Maybe it's a way for you to keep in contact with Jotty when you're in new parts of the world? Maybe. Talk with all the other villagers. Or maybe just find a way out of this valley. Well, there's the balloon. I was going to check what the deal with the balloon was. Oh, oh, I, I didn't realize you hadn't gotten to the balloon yet. Then you have an objectives list. 
Need to complete tasks for Halal and Driss. Oh, Halal, you need to show that you filled up your device. Oh, that's probably it. Oh, that guy looks weird. I approached the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? Longingly? I clarified that I was looking curiously, and that balloons aren't exactly my ideal vessel. The newcomer shrugs. Fair enough, I suppose, when you can ensconce yourself in the peaceful little bubble and float down from the sky. The balloon loses some of its charm, but I'll accept your curiosity. I give the balloon an approving nod so that he doesn't feel too bad. Well, good to meet you, and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. I suppose if you come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? Ooh. I would love a map. I tell the cartographer I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. If you're leaving on your gliding, Sable, you'll definitely need a map of the EU, or at least. I'll sell you one for only 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map. But too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan that... Wait, what? I'll be back, sorry. I'll need to ask Jotty for some money. Farewell, child. We have, we have plenty. We have tons. Why, don't, why not just pay him right now? Can't. You can't? Quest does not recognize that I have money. Even though you've gathered all the expensive chests that have been sitting in the hilltops for decades? Doesn't count. Centuries? When I return to Halal, it's clear they know that I, what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf, in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Safe. You want to say you safe? You want to know what true freedom is? Double jumping. <laughs> Slow fall is safe. Safe, like a warm hug. I tell Halal that I feel most embraced by the Perpetual, warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose that it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there ha having, uh, heaving myself into chasms. Wait a minute, so people, gr people grow out of it? I guess so, yeah. Hmm. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. I tell Halal that I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms in their on their behalf, and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I, uh, I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes really serious focus. Paul laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding would, wouldn't mean much if it were all gain and no loss, hmm? I think about it, but decide that there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Hillel for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Hillel. Before I go, Hillel gestures towards the tower it seems Caesar wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Are you going to ask Jotty um, about the money? Yeah. Rumbus, money. I tell Jotty that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map on the Ewer. I try to hedge the way that I speak about this as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough for precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some of the money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely. 
and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I thank Jotty effusively. Effusively? I haven't... It's like I haven't profusely. Heard that one. No, I know. I usually use profusely, but effusely. That's interesting. I'd head out on my way. How much money did she send us? Wow. She we... gave us a hundred. Mm -hmm. We already had plenty of that. Him actually is like crazy wholesome. Well, they're once again piecemeal providing you with little bits and pieces of what the world is like and what this strange magic is. Cizo is an outclanner to the Abexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and I think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Can you change the camera angle? Uh, that's better. Is it machinists or machinists? Machinists. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go to where they are needed. But CISO has been among us so long, it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Abexi are quite insular or that our designation of Abexi versus Outclanners suggests that some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cizo did. Sable, how do, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Hmm. Better now that I'm getting the bike? Excited for the bike? Or a bit worried? Top two. Alright. Better. Now that I'm getting a bike. Cizo has a throaty quality to her voice. It rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She is quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. <laughs> oh, yes. Jotty told me how excited you were. Cizo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together. But I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, uh, so I tell her that I was just clearing my throat. Oh, I don't begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts yourself. Ooh, that sounds like an adventure. I tell Cizo I like the sound of that. A little adventure before my big one. But it's more meaningful than you know. To bond with one's bike before it has taken form is more privileged than labor. Here, take this. Cizo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding old parts. I asked Cisa where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the sh ruined ships, in fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down and near the camp. You'll find another one on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark what that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Hmm. Do most gliders make their own bikes? I asked Cizo if... Mm, Sorry. If most gliders make their own bikes. Only the lucky ones. I tell Cizo I'd see her soon, and head off in search of the components. Together, we will create something new out of the old. Well, at this point, we already have the power source, don't we? Correct. Using your navigator. So I suppose you can mark things from a distance? Interesting. Well, we should definitely go to the old dam. I remember seeing it from afar, but at first you didn't think that we could go there. There's something about a ship over here. Really? Yeah, and she was looking at this. That? No. Maybe it's underneath? Oh yeah, there it is. Kind of? 
Maybe you need to bring all the parts to this yeah. to build your hover bike. Ships of old. Find a control panel and find an atomic calibrator. Uh, I just thought the camera was pointed at this. I don't know. We gotta go back to the balloons at the very least. Mm -hmm. Yep, because we can't forget the map. Hey, well, Thor, can you, can you get rid of that? That's a really weird comment. What? I don't want to call too much attention to it, but it's weirding me out. Uh... Thank you. Like I said, comments have been weird lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you were distracted by earlier when I poked you with my foot. I just... I... A lot of it has to do with muck that I think uh, I've Isn't it funny how you attract the wrong well, type of people with I the most popular games? I think it's just an uptick that a lot of people don't... Uh, when, you up, when you attract a lot of people all at once, and you have like a big boost of uh, new viewers, they don't get used to the kind of channel culture mm. or like vibe and bring their own, and that's not always the best. I think Jordan for the Eeyore map and all its vast possibilities... Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. I ask how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy the cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you from Hakoa to the Sodic Waste. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. You probably want to grab your bike, don't you? Yeah. I gotta remember where it... Oh, right, I parked it in the middle of town. <laughs> mm -hmm. It actually makes it really easy to find. I like this game. It's putting me to sleep. <laughs> I mean, so far it's been a number oh. of fetch quests, some exploration... The oh, it's the dam is up on the left, isn't it? Graphical map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look over that way. The... No, no, to the right. Wait, what is the? Oh, that's, no, that's the original temple. Yeah, the dam is up there. See? Yeah. I just wanted to find the crashed ship that they were talking about, because it might be all the way on the other side. Unless this is. Ooh, ooh, ooh! There's a ring. Can you go to that ring? Which ring? That one. That one? Yeah. That's, I think, how we get in. Could be wrong. Why are you going up that? I'm tired. Are you? I was wondering if you were asleep. Sleeping at the wheel isn't a good thing. A little bit. I, oh, is there a creature up there? It looks like a little glowy thing. A glowy noodle with antenna. What is it? Oh. It's a schmoodle. What is it? A chum egg. Wait, what? What in the world? Chum egg. Perfectly round and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to put these. What? Did it just die? It just planted itself and gave you an egg. Gosh. It was so cute before. It was so cute. And now it's just kind of uncomfortable. Maybe it awaits just the right person. Here. And then it just kind of procreates in front of you. How big is the map? I mean, there's a lot of regions. And a it lot big. of space. It big. It big. I don't know. I think I'll be more awake when this game actually comes out. <laughs> it's coming out in September, though. Who knows where we're going to be in September. We would be fleeing Oregon. <laughs> oh, you're thinking about the fires from last year? Yeah. yeah. Look, I... When we watched Inside, there was that kind of like, uh... Inside? Or not... Was it Inside? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the Bo Burnham thing. Wasn't that last night? Yep. Yeah. He did his, like, little kind of birthday thing where he was watching the clock tick up. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of this weird sobering thing. 
And I was jealous of him because my birthday was spent pan uh, mildly concerned that our state was going to burn down. And that was a weird experience on my part. Of... Then again, everything always... Anything negative occurs near your birthday, right? I know. I just, like... I I always have garbage birthdays, but, you know, watching other people bemoan theirs, I'm just like... You don't realize you have it lucky. I think for most anyone, though, 30 is a huge turning point in their lives because when you're in your 20s, you think, yes, you know, I'm finally an adult and I'm starting my life, but I'm not old, right? But there's all this pressure to have accomplished something great by the time you're 30 years old. And there's almost that perception of if you haven't, then you've wasted much of your youth. Yeah. And, you know, then you're starting to have a lot of peers that are getting married, having kids, etc. And if you're behind on any of those, there's... Have you gotten any items from this? Uh, yeah. Sort of. I'm just trying to figure out what's over there. I guess we'll get the item from this and then figure it out. Mm-hmm. But no, 30 is just a... It, it's definitely a source of anxiety and contention. Kind of. I, I think I'm just mostly grumpy that I didn't get to hit 30 in kind of a graceful and fun fashion. And said sent, uh, spent it in, in stupid... What did uh, we even do for my birthday? My 30th. Because it was a couple months after yours. We ordered food, and... Oh, we played Phoenix Wright. Uh, uh yeah, I mean, I, I get to request the games that I like. Mm -hmm. Something along those lines. But... What was I going to say? I don't know. I just feel kind of robbed turning 30 in double quarantine. Mm. And that was kind of like a Because we memorable... were quarantined, but then also quarantined in a in the one room in well, our house that had the air. It wasn't quite there yet. That was that was like the first time before like the fires had really hit Oregon mm -hmm. where I think everything was just extremely smoky but it wasn't bad for us yet. Ooh. I'm just curious what's over here. Oh, ladder on the right of that? Oh, inside the... Well, now that we're all the way over here... Hmm. No, I'm gonna go back in just because... Yeah, THX, you could probably just ban him. That's, like, the third super weird comment he's made all day, and I just... I don't need that. Oh. Oh, the platform to get back out. Oh, there? Oh. Mm hmm I thought there was something inside, and I want to see. It's like, well, maybe there's a treasure chest or some loot. The thing is, like... There's probably it, some loot up and on the right near that other spire, but the problem is... Eh. I mean, the other thing is, it doesn't matter. Because this is the demo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was doing it while you were asking. Perfect. Thank you. One piece of advice somebody had given, I think just on Twitter, was that, like, sometimes it's okay to just ban somebody for not matching the vibe that you're trying to have on, like, your channel. I think that was actually a really good piece of advice. It feels kind of heavy-handed, but it's just like, this also, person... Also, just don't put up with harassment and... Uh, it's not always just harassment. I, I've definitely, like, banned some people for just, like, not... Not, not conforming, but, like... Although this isn't the kind of thing we want to discuss in down. this video. Yeah, true. And that's the problem with streaming, I find. I'd like to focus on the game. I, I would, but this game's a lot of empty space. Like, I... Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up. Float back at the very least so you don't drop all the way down, yeah? I didn't. This is a long demo, by the way. Mm -hmm. Like, I was watching uh, some other people play it. Like, I think you can play this for a solid, like, two hours. Or more. I would expect it to end when you get your bike and leave the, the no. zone. No? No, it keeps going. 
Like, there are a couple of these demos that have just been, like, bizarrely long. I think this one is just because it's such a big and expansive world mm -hmm. that, you know, they can just kind of afford. Oh, it's another creature. Look at it. It's so cute. Die for me. Give me your babby. Whoa, it makes a weird squeaking noise. Ooh, that, that looks good. That looks interesting. It looks like a grave almost. Keep floating. Don't drop. I think I'll make it. You can put me to sleep. What did I miss anyway? Exploration. Yeah, look at that weird shrine. You're gonna steal from the shrine? Hell yeah. How dare you? This is a neat game. I... I have... I am unsure how... I... This is something I, I've been struggling with a little bit lately. I was just like, is this a game that I could reasonably stream? Mm. And I struggle with that on this one. Like, it's fun, but it's like, I... Definitely could see this lasting a tremendous amount of time. And it's the kind of game that I think I could play Much quiet, of that time is going to be running. Unless yeah. you have your bike. Yeah. That, like, I... I really want to start experimenting with certain formats where I just kind of play a game quietly and only talk when it's, like, pertinent or important. Cause... So what would you do? Fast forward? Skip ahead? Maybe, yeah. Or even just do, like, kind of a recap of, like, what happens in the game as kind of, like, a humorous, like, journal thing. Huh. You know. And then we climbed up this, this rune, found a weird baby, or weird, like... Uh, snake noodle. It was cute. And then it killed itself to give me a baby, which was confusing. And then we looked around and saw a shrine. We robbed it. You know, just basic stuff like that. Mm hmm. Just. I remember playing Mist Uru, and they gave you a journal that you could write in. And I, you know, being my, my creative writing obsessed self, I actually did take it upon myself to write in a role play -y fashion, pretending I was experiencing Guru for the first time and jotting down my observations as though I was actually experiencing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder... I don't know if I ever saved it, though. That All those journal entries are probably gone. They were probably wiped from my parents' computer. But yeah, like, I could see a really he heavily edited version of this being good. Or, like, just a really long-form thing where we just play, like, three hours on Friday and then put out the video on Saturday. And just kind of have that rinse-repeat. Where am I going? Look! Look! There are crabs! I know, I just want to look around a little bit. Yeah, let's go see the crabs. Oh, are, they are there beetles? Oh. Schnozzles. Oh. They make weird noises. And they dig. When you get close. I mean, it looks like I might be able to interact with them. Maybe you'll be able to catch them later. Trying to sneak up on them. Maybe. Maybe they don't care. No. Yeah, by the time you approach them, they dig into the ground. So what is this? It looks like you can platform your way potentially up, or what are those weird balls on the side of these? I don't they're, know. Oh, I'm they're going, flowers. They're flowers. I'm going to leave. <laughs> this place is just weirding me out. Okay. Yeah. Where, where the heck is my... Like we did, we did drive. Oh no 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 no! Oh, a chest. It was hiding behind a bus. That's not that matters though. I struggle with that with these demos, but I guess I will say we're actually in a really good ish stopping point where it's like. But we, if we can complete we have, the bike. Shell, we've been going for an hour. Oh. Yeah, I know, but like, it's this is a super game indie, a super game indie game 
lightning game round. Can we just finish game. the bike? No. Please. Maybe. I just we have one part. Find, yeah, fine. One, one part. We'll finish the bike, and that's about it. Like it's a, it's a good game, but it's just kind of one of those where it's like. Who is that arch? We're looking for a ship. Well, that was a separate little. That was area. the dam. I thought it was like part of the uh, the temple that we were originally in. Be over here. I doubt uh, it. Ah, that's a wooden ship. You're ne you're looking for metal ships. I mean, it's still a ship. Yeah, it's interesting uh, how they have a bunch of wrecked boats, but this also... probably was all full of water at one point. Yeah. Just gotta find it. This is empty world syndrome. Yeah, I. Oh, that that looks that's like a ship probably part. what I'm looking for. And I think that's totally okay, depending on what you're looking for in a game. You know, something kind of calming that you can just zen out to, or even like, like like watch a podcast, or watch somebody stream while you play. I think that sort of thing works really well with this kind of game. That. Ooh. Dang, these are some cool looking ships. Look at all those monitors and such, and what's that symbol? There's nothing of use to be found on the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording, it is barely audible. Stop messing with those buttons, you absolute idiot! The distinct sound of someone slapping someone else's hand crackles out of the speakers. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if what that old machine has told us uh, holds up. If not, there will be hell to pay. Some sort of mechanical adjustments seem to be made. I hear the sound of three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Ramen. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rahana's mask. Not that hard. You torn it out. Suddenly the speakers are filled with static, crackling, and a low rumble that seems to gradually increase in pitch and frequency. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! What sounds like an ungainly person dancing around on a metal surface plays out. Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow down a bit. How do we do that, Ramen? Let me check what the machine has wrote down for us. A long pause. The whining static sounds that started playing when the ship took off seem to be increasing in frequency. It sounds like the ship is picking up pace. Suddenly, what sounds like someone pulling and pushing on every button they can as quickly as possible plays out. Robin! That lever you just ripped out, Toma. That was how we slow this thing down! We're going too fast! We're gonna crash! We need to try to... The recording cuts off there. So what, these were scavengers that happened upon the ship and ruined it? I suppose And crashed so. in it? Really? Where's the I device? Guess so. I think this might have just been kind of another. Ah, uh, yep. She's puzzled. Oh, there's the kid. Hey, right. you ran into my bike, Saima. Are you looking for a calibrator? I nod, and Saima looks gleeful. She's always been a mischief maker. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. Oh, you're a horrible child. Simon laughs off my irritation. I compose myself. I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I'll give you the calibrator. I'll give it to you. But I want some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want or something I want. Beetles? 
I stifle a sigh. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. We... Shell. We know how to get those... But Shell. We know about the beetles, but now those beetles... I hate to say they this. They were so difficult. I don't want to... You don't want to no. pursue the beetles again? Part of it is like... Uh, the Here, I'm just going to hop on this. We're going to just drive as far as we can go. Uh, one, I don't like uh, nested fetch quests. Like that, it's just something that in instantly makes me tired. Ooh, what's up there? I don't know if you've ever been up there before. No, I haven't been. Uh, and like, I don't mind it within the context of this game. The big issue is right now I'm recording this from the perspective of doing the my lightning round show. Yeah. With like a demo, so like any amount of hard work I put into a demo has to be above and beyond worth it for some reason. So like. When Dragon Quest Builders was coming out, I put like 10 episodes into the demo because I thought it would be funny uh, to do so. But with this, it's just playing the game further. But for every for every hour that I put into this now, that's an hour less that I want to play for like the full version. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. That's true. We would be giving so much of it away. Yeah. Another Chumek. But yeah, that I'm going to have to redo every single thing that we've done here. Um, in the full version. And even then, like, I, there's there's kind of a common wisdom about game development that you don't necessarily want to have a demo for your game because it makes people less likely to actually play it. Because so many people load up a game, play for about 15 So that's probably what's going to open when minutes. you Yeah, are that opens up probably once we get our... our Can light. you look it up at them? Because there are these weird statues of people with their hands... Held up to one another. Are they? Oh, yeah. yeah, they are. I thought they were remnants of a ship. They look like they're people wearing crowns, too. Oh, yeah. Camera angle doesn't want to work with me on this one. Uh, but, you know, I was, I was reading an exchange between people talking about how, yeah, they like to just play a game for about 30 minutes to an hour, get used to how the game works, see a little bit of it, and then just that surface level experience is enough to kind of make them say, yeah, I've seen and done enough. And I think I run that risk whenever I play a game for too long. Especially before it comes out, because I just... I, I get that, like, seen it, uh, been there, done that feeling. Mm -hmm. And that's very difficult to shake. Yeah, um, and you already had difficult... Di sorry, difficulties pursuing those beetles before. I'm sure there's a trick to it, and we probably get told about it, but... You probably get told about it when you approach them. It's sad that they don't tell you when you find them because then you could have caught a couple beetles yeah and like then... i would have loved it if we had been able to get them beforehand and it's like oh yeah you, uh, i i already the caught beetles. five of them i'm randomly carrying them and they're like that's weird okay here's your calibrator you know just this like super goofy thing or even if you could find the calibrator that if it's it's not actually that hidden uh it's just they send you on this pointless fetch quest but then it's like, yeah, it's underneath the chair. And then you go, but like you could have checked that originally and it's already there. I don't know. There are a lot of ways it could have played out. But I think ultimately, I like this game. It's really charming. And I love the unique visual design and world they've got here. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious as to why this special ability from their goddess fades away. And it's clearly some kind of... They said they could keep it with practice, though. So I think it might actually it just be an issue of... The older you grow, the more distracted you get. And so it's hard to... Mm, the whole focus. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Anywho. Uh, so Sable will be out on Steam and... I think it might actually be every platform. It's either every platform or Switch. But I know for sure it's coming out on Steam on September 23rd. Mm. So a couple months away. But that gives them all the more time to finish it up. Not that there are too many bugs that we ran into, just that one frame rate thing. With the money? Yes. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to it all the same. I have no idea how I'm going to record this. And there's a very real possibility it might be something weird where we just do, like, the first hour of it, and then I either do some kind of, like, travel log for the rest of the game, or... I don't know. I, long games are just hard for me to work with anymore. But, I gotta say, it looks really cool. So, 
I guess with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Sable or other just incredible indie games, hit subscribe because we got tons of them to check out. But for now, let's move on to the next.